look at example five. Now we've got things to read. Okay. Um, notice if we read this carefully, the capacity C of conveyor belt in metric tons per hour is given by the formula C equals 3.6 SDA. Where S is the belt speed in meters per second, D is the density of load material in kilograms per cubic meter, and A is the cross-sectional area of the load in square meters. All right, so there's a whole lot of information embedded in those first two um, sentences there, or it's one full sentence with a comma. But C in metric tons per hour, that's what C is. S is the belt speed in meters per second, S is. Uh, D is the density in kilograms, D is. And then A is the cross-sectional area in square meters, that's what A is. So there's four letters in this problem, and they're telling you what everything is, what everything represents. They're telling you the type of unit everything's supposed to have. So if they don't specifically tell you, like for example, it says has a density of 750 kilograms per cubic meter. If they just said uh, 750 kilograms per cubic meter, didn't say density, but then you say, hey, look, density is supposed to be in kilograms per cubic meter, right? Then you know this is a density, right? But again, it says has a density of this, right? So if I'm writing down stuff I know as I know it, density, I use a capital D, capital D, equals 750 kilograms per cubic meter. Okay. I'm just recording stuff I know based on what they're telling me. And it says a cross-sectional area of 0.083 square meters. Cross-sectional area is A. So I know that A equals 0.083 meters squared. And continue to read, what belt speed is needed to move 1,000 metric tons per hour? So C, metric tons per hour, right? So this is 1,000 metric tons per hour. That's going to be what C is. Again, it doesn't say <coughs> that's capacity, right? But the fact that the unit metric tons per hour matches what C is supposed to be, that tells me that must be C. So C is equal to 1,000 metric tons per hour. I think it's capital T for metric tons. We'll just say T for now. I'll look it up. It might be a different unit for metric tons per hour. All right, so notice they've given me these three numbers, D, A, and C, and they got a formula over there very clearly say it says how C, S, D, and A re <coughs> react to each other, how they relate. So, I know C equals 3.6 SDA. They've told me what C equals. They've told me what A equals. And they've told me what D equals. They did not tell me what S equals. So if I substitute everything they told me into this problem, I'm looking at this. 1,000 equals 3.6 times S times 750 instead of D times 0 0.083 instead of A. Okay. Notice I did not put any units in my work. I simply substituted the numbers in. Because I happen to know if I'm trying to find out what S is, S is the belt speed in meters per second. So the unit I'm going to get out of this, since all these other units were what they were supposed to be based on what they told me, the unit I get for belt speed should be what it's supposed to be, meters per second. So the fact that density was the right unit for density, area is the right unit for area, uh, C was the right unit for C, S should be the right unit for S. So meters per second is what I get out of this. And notice that I've got an equation that has the letter S in it. So we've got S right here. That's what we're trying to find. We've got all these numbers being multiplied by S. So unlike the problems we just saw a moment ago, it'd be beneficial before I tried to do anything with the solving of this, make this simpler get my calculator out and actually multiply all these numbers. When you have a, num a letter inside of all those numbers, you can multiply all the numbers to get the number in front times the letter. So even though the 3.6 is all the way over here compared to all those, this times this times this, S, will be what we get out of that. So if I get my calculator out again, and I 
type in 3.6 times 750 times 0 0.083. So again, I just took the three numbers that aren't the letter, this, this, and this. They're all being multiplied, so I simply multiply and hit enter, and that's what it is. So 1,000 equals 224.1 S. Okay, so now I'm at the same place I was in the other four problems. I've got something happening to my variable, in this case, S. S is my variable. What's happening to my variables is being multiplied by 224.1. So division by what? Division by 224.1. Whatever's happening to the letter, do the opposite to both sides. So the 224.1 divided by 224.1 makes 1s. And 1,000 1, divided by 224.1 is 4.46. Does it say round anything specific? What belt speed? No. So let's go to a couple decimal places here. Uh, 4.462. So if I round it to the second decimal place, I got 4.462. And I want to round to this decimal place here. I look at that number afterwards. It's 2. It's not 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9. So that stays 6. So 4.46. And the unit of belt speed is meters per second, so I'm going to put meters per second. On the word problems, I'm expecting you to find the correct unit of the answer. Again, if a formula is given and every unit is given to you in the right form, then the answer will come out in the right form for that unit. So the fact we're trying to find S, S is supposed to be meters per second. The other three things they told me were in the proper unit for those things it tells me this should come out to the proper unit for that variable. So 4.46 meters per second would be the speed of the belt under the circumstances of what they gave us.